Hey everybody, Steve here, and here's a look at all the stories we're following from the AFR News Desk for June 9th, 2015. Our lead story this week is a follow-up to a story we broke last week, and that's with the upcoming Kickstarter launch of Roll Saga Baseball. They've released the first two in a series of 10 videos that will showcase exactly what the game is going to be like. Now these first two videos just showcase how the mat is going to work and then the second video shows what the field is like and gives you a brief look into how to read the field and the different numbers that are on there. So we're definitely looking forward to the next videos in the series that will showcase actual gameplay. For more information on the game, be sure to go over to the RollSaga.com website and stay tuned for their Kickstarter launch on July 1st. In the latest Atba newsletter, they announced that they only have three copies left of the old version of their Atba hockey game. This is in anticipation of the brand new version of the game that's going to have its initial release at the APA convention later this month. The game looks like it features a lot of new rules, updates, and some new gameplay mechanics. So for everyone who's been looking forward to the new APA hockey, that APA convention will be your first chance to get a look at it and to make a purchase. Over on the Play.com Facebook page, they posted a teaser card for their upcoming release of the 2014 English Pro Season for their Soccer Blast game. That set is scheduled for a June 22nd release, but the announcement also hinted that it might sneak out a couple days early. Also, a couple weeks ago on the show, I mentioned the release of the 2014 Pro Season for the Cold Snap Canadian football game from Play.com. For all of you fictional fans out there, the fictional set for Cold Snap is now being handled by Lenny LaFrance, and it's available as a free download. The new 2015 season will be released in the upcoming Play.com newsletter later this month. So be sure that you're a subscriber to get the first chance to download that fictional Cold Snap season. And now let's take a look at new releases. Not any new releases to look at this week, but there are a couple of big sales that I wanted to let everyone know about. Over at Stratomatic, they're having a 35% off blowout sale on their football, hockey, and basketball current edition board games. Just use the code BLOWOUT35, and that code is good until June 22nd at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And over at FTP Sports, they are also having a 35% off sale in celebration of the finals that are going on in the NBA and the NHL. Using the promo code FINALS, you can get 35% off anything in their catalog. And now it's time for the question of the week. So last week on the show, I asked everybody who their favorite team was that didn't quite win it all. There were a lot of comments. This was actually the most commented video that I've had where there wasn't a contest going on. So thank you to all the fans who chimed in. It was really great reading through those. There were a lot of people that mentioned the 78 Red Sox. There was one 86 Red Sox team. And also the 1995 Colts had a couple of mentions. But I wanted to highlight a comment from viewer Paul Selzgeber, who simply said his favorite team that didn't quite win it all was Cleveland. Paul, thanks for the comment and keep the faith. I think that the the Cavaliers might be able to pull out the series against Golden State here as it comes back home for the next couple of games of them. And that series tied up one apiece. Again, thank you to everybody who left a comment. And for this week, I'm very happy to say that we have the return of the Question of the Week contest. Now, the contest this week is for something very special. And it's 
the 2014 pro season for second season football from play.com and you're going to get this almost a full month before it's available to purchase. The rules for this contest are the same as always. One, make sure that you're a subscriber to the channel. Two, like this video. And then finally three, leave a comment below answering the question of the week. This time I'd like to ask everybody what non-playoff team from last year's NFL season do you think is going to turn it around and make the playoffs this year? So there's certainly a couple of contenders that I think are going to make the turnaround this year and at least get into the playoffs and maybe surprise a couple of people and win a round or two. But my pick is going to go with the St. Louis Rams. I think that they're going to benefit from finally shedding themselves of Sam Bradford and hopefully Nick Foles will stay healthy for them all season. And I think that stability at quarterback will stabilize their offense. And I think that they're going to leapfrog over Arizona and San Francisco to take a wild card spot in the NFC. I'll look forward to reading everyone's comments and one comment will be randomly selected as our winner for the question of the week contest. Good luck to everyone who answers. We'll see who wins next week. And finally, it's time for channel updates. So this past week, I got out the review for the red zone. And also I had a segment on the Dice Towers board game breakfast. If you haven't had a chance to watch either of those, please give them a look. And on the board game breakfast video, it'd be great if you could leave a comment letting them know that you like seeing sports board games covered on their channel. No current schedule for a next review out, but as always, the news will be up next Tuesday night. All right, everybody, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. My name's Steve, and I'll see you next time after further review.